Well, look, I think um, our view, or my view, is that uh, a problem in France is that the state is too big. So, I mean, there are activities um, that maybe should be outside the realm of the state. Maybe there are activities that shouldn't be taking place at all. So, you know, cutting inefficient public spending, and of course it's easy to say that in the abstract, but it's politically difficult uh, to identify those things in practice, in order to permit lower taxes um, and, and essentially shrink the size of the public budget in, uh, in France, um, would seem to give scope for uh, um, improved public finances, but at the same time not being too deleterious to the overall demand momentum in the French economy. Now, what are the sort of things that you might think about in that context a bit more specifically? Well, you know, clearly taxes that blunt incentives for entrepreneurship and growth are a problem. So very high ta marginal tax rates that we have seen on occasion in France, I think those are things that perhaps could be dealt with. Similarly, the structure of taxes is not very supportive of employment creation. So, you know, the wedge imposed by taxes between what employers have to pay for an employee and what the employee takes home is pretty large by uh, international standards and that's a deterrent to creating jobs and so forth. So I think it's trying to identify um, areas where you could uh, reduce spending to facilitate a reduction of taxes that allowed the supply side of the economy to improve um, such that if you like the demand impact of some of the former policies is offset by the supply impact of some of the lesser policies. That's probably the way uh, that one would ideally want to go forward. But of course, in a political environment, as fiscal policy always takes place, it's easier said than done.